The Naval Academy Museum presents a history of the Navy in 100 objects. Welcome to the 11th episode in our series, as we conclude for now our discussion of the naval events of the War of 1812. Recall in a previous episode, we had talked about the great American naval victory over the British in 1813 at the Battle of Lake Erie under the leadership of 27-year-old Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry. Today, we discuss an American ship's defeat and the words of her dying commander, Captain James Lawrence, one of Perry's friends. Our object today is the iconic Don't Give Up the Ship flag, inspired by the words of Captain Lawrence as he was carried below the main deck of his ship, USS Chesapeake, after being mortally wounded during the battle between the Chesapeake and HMS Shannon. Next month, our episodes will focus on the Naval Academy itself and the officer training process, both today and in years previous, as the Academy graduates its next class of Navy and Marine Corps officers. But for now, it's interesting to at least take note of the age of midshipmen, or officers in training, back during the days of Perry and Lawrence, and thus, the young age at which officers would hold command. Perry began service as a midshipman at 13, and Lawrence at 17. Midshipmen at the time, in a tradition borrowed from the British Navy, would enter the Navy at extremely young ages, and would study navigation and seamanship while embarked on actual warships. In combat, they would command gun crews and hold other important roles from very young ages by today's standards. Thus, by the time Perry, at age 27, had won his great naval victory at Erie and commanded a small fleet, he had also already been in the Navy for 15 years. Dr. Scott Harmon will take us through a bit of the flag's background now, and then also discuss the conservation process. We will also post some interesting background content about the conservation process and the flag's history in more detail on our Facebook page. We now go to the first floor of the Academy Museum to Dr. Scott Harmon. Welcome to the Naval Academy Museum. I'm Dr. Scott Harmon, and we are here with another in our series of 100 objects from the Naval Academy Museum. This time we are featuring one of the most famous flags in the United States history, the Don't Give Up the Ship flag flown by Oliver Hazard Perry at the Battle of Lake Erie. This flag has a significant history. The words come from the dying words of Captain James Lawrence, a good friend of Oliver Hazard Perry. Uh, Lawrence was killed on board his ship, the USS Chesapeake, when he went to meet the British frigate HMS Shannon. Lawrence was severely wounded, and it was, as he was carried below, he called out to his crew, don't give up, up, don't give up the ship, don't give up the ship, uh, which they did in the end. When Perry learned about his friend's death, he was at Erie, Pennsylvania, building a couple of vessels to meet the British on Lake Erie. He had some ladies of Erie, Pennsylvania uh, make the flag and took it out on board his ship. And when he met the British uh, hoisting this flag to his main peak, uh, the top of the main mast, was the signal to begin the action. In this action, uh, the United States Navy won a significant victory, capturing every one of the British ships. After the battle, the flags from the captured British ships, along with the don't give up the ship flag, went to Washington. And in 1849, it came to the Naval Academy and has been on display at the Naval Academy for 150 years almost. In that time, it has suffered a great deal from uh, neglect, abuse, uh, mistreatment, and about 10 years ago, uh, it was taken out of where it was displayed in Memorial Hall and sent for conservation. At that time, we found peculiar things. What we saw when it was displayed at, at Memorial Hall was a blue flag with tan letters. We took it out of the display case, started examining it, and what we discovered was that the blue cloth we saw was just a cover hiding the original flag, trying to make it look good. The conservators uh, removed that blue cloth 
and revealed what we have today, the original flag, war-torn, damaged, uh, in my judgment, uh, I call it uh, beautiful, but not pretty. If you come to see this flag, you will notice that it is kept in a rather dark environment, uh, much darker than what you see now. We do that to keep it from being damaged by light. Light is a very detrimental thing to organic materials, and this is a very fragile one. So we're doing everything we can to enable the American people, the people from around the world to see this historic flag, but also preserve it for future generations. Uh, we hope that you will take the opportunity to pay us a visit and see this flag, which in my estimation, after the Star Spangled Banner, is the most important flag in American history. Thank you. Thank you.